Going with that. You talking about the top tier video? Yeah, the top tier video. That's, uh, that ain't that Martin? Ain't that Gorillas Peoples? Josh, Josh from Austin. Austin. Right. So, so yeah, like Josh from Austin. And yet, and yet yeah, you yeah. still forgot it. So it's not that catchy. Right. It, it was a it was a whole payment issue discrepancy. Like I don't mm. think I don't think we were we were returned customers. It, it, it was the turnaround time was crazy. Yeah. I think I think half the tier, half the top tier so I forgot to shake them down for, for the payment and the final product. Or uh, I don't know. I, I don't know. Don't let me lie to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. See that that type of shit though really could have took all of y'all to uh to another level. I mean I know it did in a sense, but it it got parked as fast as that bitch was moving. You know what I mean? Like I don't think y'all truly capitalized off of that. Like y'all was major, major. On a local level, that shit was major. Everybody that was on that hoe, even uh what's his name, Young Sir. Shit, I became a fan of that fool fucking on the spot. Like, uh, him and, um, fuck, what's his name? Oh, man. Sir Davis? Yeah, yeah, Sir Davis, too, but the other youngster, uh, Victor, uh, Just Vic. Oh, yeah. Yeah, bro. Like, oh, yeah. To see them being the younger ones on there with y'all, the OGs and shit, and then it working, like I said, bro, that was major. Yeah. Something thousand, mm-hmm. two hundred thousand views. I don't even know what it was. Yeah, I don't even know if there was a, a audio only. I mean, but then again, that that would be uh, what? That's uh, Martin shit, right? That uh, gorilla. I mean, I guess whatever DJ Khaled did, yeah. So that that would be Martin's song. Him, he, him, and uh, fuck, what's his name? Goddamn, I'm dead wrong for forgetting for the his name. Nah, um, both of them. Nah, the there was two of them. There was Martin and his only. Fuck, oh my oh, god. Uh, the uh, uh, Dwight. Yeah. Okay. So they put that together. They picked. Uh, uh, the Beezy or Beezy. Yeah. Beezy. Yeah. See, I get him mixed up because it's Beezy straight out the house, Beezy too. You know. Yep. Same. Same. Yeah. Got to clarify. Christian yeah. Beezy. Yeah, Christian Beezy. Hey, psh, on some Christian shit, they are some murderers. They go hard. Yeah. They <laughs> sinning. Hard they sinning from the beginning, for real. Oh shit. Before, before he was a Christian, dog. <laughs> All right. Paper busy. You know what I'm saying? Okay. <coughs> I see. I yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this was a long time ago, bro. This is, this is back in this is back in 09. You know I've been mean, fucking with real before he was a uh, Christian real. You know what I mean? Before he was uh, before they joined us, so when he was just making uh, worldly music, we'll call it. You know? mm. They call it oh. secular music, bro. Secular music, there you go. He's making secular music. Yeah, we had a hustling anthem. It was pretty nice, but went different directions. All good. Yeah, hey, it was. Uh, I I would have expected a couple more uh, top tier ciphers from y'all. Like that's that's how much I think that movement was moving. You know. Yeah, they submitted trilogy at least. There should have been a CD, a fucking mean green compilation type shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, <coughs> yeah. Ten bangers. Ten. <coughs> but. Hey, but yeah. <laughs> hey, imagine. Have you seen that movie with Queen when they were talking about the Bohemian Rhapsody? He's like, who the fuck yeah. is going to listen to a song that long? Bitch, the world. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> on a road trip, throw that bitch on, roll up, three bats. Good to go. Going down. Hey, just show up. Down. Just show up like Wu Tang and fucking wreck it. Like a squad. Yeah. But yeah. 
I mean, but, you know, not saying that none of y'all that did that didn't do anything afterwards. It's, uh, in my opinion, in my eyes, I just felt like y'all slept on something. The same way I felt like Mike slept on his uh, 361 Anthem. Like, I felt like that was his, there's your trampoline, bro. Jump on that bitch and go, you know, like. Um, no, it's true. No. Like that so crooked challenge, that shit brought that shit even brought me out. And you know I don't come out for shit. Like I sit in the cave and fucking watch motherfuckers rap and and you know occasionally sprinkle something out there, you know. But the so crooked challenge, uh I think it was uh Vino that started that or something like that. But then everybody jumped on that hoe, that shit. Everybody was spitting some cold shit. I I ain't even press play on one video that I had to skip. Like real shit. So Yeah. Yeah, and that was, you know, together but individually, you know. Michael White put together that, that cypher, that 361 cypher. Yeah, him and, and uh, like, him, Paper Chase, and uh, DJ Lil' King. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, part of a few of them. Some of the Crown Royalty joint, you know what I mean? So we put them together dope. quite a few times as a city. We just call it something different. We don't monetize it. Yeah. Just getting paid for your work. Yeah. Make that nah, but not, nah, I won't, I'm not going to agree with you there. I refuse to agree with you there because I've brought it up many times and I, and I never stress any less that you've been the only one that I've done music for. And you know, I've touched a few artists fucking tracks that I got a warning from the fucking business part of the end talking about, I don't own this track, so I can't necessarily play it. I was like, man, I ain't even mad at AB. That's that show just got his, his paperwork right. You know what I mean? And and the cool part about it is I know the dude. I know the dude to call him and be like, hey, give me access to this track for this video that you're in. You know what I'm saying? I can't reach out to like a, a fucking uh, Master P or something and, and get access to I'm about it, you know? So. But that's so so hold on hold on pause 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 right there. So now what you just said, I had a conversation with my boy the other night. Like I was streaming the the Gucci and Jeezy right, and, and I made like a little layout and shit so it looked like legit. Whatever it had my name on there, it had a fucking cash app drop. You know what I'm saying? Drop a motherfucker a dollar or whatever. It had a um, just verses shit on there, and as we're we're live. You know, I have this thing on there, the, the program that lets you edit the video as you're doing it. But there's a way that you put it in a studio mode that the viewer can't see. Like, you'd be editing all kinds of crazy shit over here, and the viewer won't see any of that. You know what I'm saying? Like, behind-the-scenes shit. So right. he forgets to click that button, right? And he's, like, doing this shit, and everybody's seeing it. I was like, bro. I was like, everybody's seeing that. He's like, so what the fuck? I was like, he's like, is nobody even watching? I was like, whether it's one or one million, bro, I still got to be that same way. You know what I mean? Like, so for you saying that if you had known that track was going to go viral and that kind of leads me to believe you wouldn't have that much invested in it at the same time. Yeah, shit, you, you ain't lying. I'm you know what I'm saying? I'm keeping it a buck 50. At the, uh, at the time, I was writing the manifesto and recording the manifesto. And not to say that I didn't put my 
best foot forward that night, but I just know that... It took a second place to that. Yo, I wrote Ocean, I wrote the third verse to the manifesto, and like another song on the manifesto that night in my garage, you know what I mean, back to back to back, and it real hit me up, so I'm up, I said, yeah, I'm gonna get to it, and and I said, for sure I'll do it, and I went live to him, I I had the verse to him like the next day, but it was like the fourth thing I wrote that night. I felt like I landed it well in the studio. I'm just being, I'm just being a, a, a harsh critic to myself. No, I know. Book. I'm not saying I, would, I, I, no way was I like fucked the song and gave him a half ass. But I just, I did my best and felt short. I felt. Mm. You know what I mean? And then my second, and then when the second one came around, I was like, now nah, I'm gonna rest up. I'm gonna clear my week. <laughs> So, 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 like on the workout this time around, you kind of did your stretches and shit before. Exactly. <laughs> and it warmed up. And it warmed up and not burnt out. Not like after four rounds in the ring, run this five miles and be like, yeah, let me let me do this too. Let me squeeze this in. Like, now, fresh. Hey, first hey, thing we're going to start with. On some real shit because you wasn't in there with no pumps either. You know what I'm saying? Like, no shit. Yeah. Sometimes I'm overconfident myself too. I was like, I, I can still, I, I'll do well, but I knew I was in there with. I don't know how I'm taking that shit right. See, <laughs> like, for, for me, for me, what I've liked about you and your rapping and just you in general, bro, is been that I consider you one of the city's top lyrical fucking artists, and I told you this before, but you're not out there on these posts or really in anybody's face saying, I'm the fucking best. I'm, you know, whatever the fuck. You don't, you don't have to say that. It's said for you. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's you up there with one of them people in the city that's definitely humble about the shit and is not fucking barking. You just sitting there waiting to bite. You know what I'm saying? Like, so. Hey, thank you, bro. Yeah, yeah, thank real you, shit, bro. real shit. Yeah, it, it, I feel like that's how it should be. You know what I mean, that's a cue from the old. That's how. That's how you used to be. You know what I mean? Well, because there used to be no social media. Like, it yep. was just all about what was said on the block, on the bar, barbershop, and it's back. Who were you? Yeah. <laughs> other than that, who yeah, were you? Other than that, who were you? Bro, we just didn't say about you. You know what I mean? Because I'm a hustler. So my, my intention as a rapper was to just impress my, my six friends, which I did. Yeah. So after that, I was good. I, would, I was I reached my pinnacle of what I wanted to do. They get my story. They know what I'm saying is real. It's for them. They love it. So I'm done. Now everything else is how, how do I eat off this? How do I legitimize myself off of this? How do we turn this into something? As QB like to say, it gets us out some projects. You yeah, know what I mean? like, yeah, yeah, real shit. shit. I mean, that's yeah, what a lot of uh, a lot of shit that that I started doing rapping. Like, man, I've been writing fucking rhymes like no bullshit, bro, since elementary and shit. You know, I've even had fucking I had a Christmas poem published in the fucking College Times way back when, but I had lost the proof of that oh, shit. So. shit. Yeah, but that was like you know elementary shit. It was. The city was smaller, so maybe the fucking amount of people participating was smaller. I don't know. But either way, I made it to that motherfucker, you know, and that was elementary. All through middle school was straight, like, no limit shit. So we were fucking as hard-headed as we, you know, we thought those rhymes were saying we were. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, like, that shit was shit that we were living, but, you know, some of that shit was... Yeah. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? That mentality, that fucking... Bro, that whole era, I don't know if the kids that are going through this shit now are feeling the same way. It's just more, let's say, shit, I don't know. I don't even know what it is. I mean, it might be the same exact fucking thing, to be honest. I might just be old and can't see it that way anymore. Like, it's just different. It seems different. It seems like they're on some fuck shit as a little younger, not knowing people. That's true too, but you know but okay. So for me, I never really had anybody older telling me the right direction aside from my mom. You know what I mean? And my mom is like the last person I listened to, and now like all these years later, I'm like, you're right about this, about that, about this, about that. Like I can't even stop. I can't even stop naming the shit, right? Uh, oh, shit. But I don't know. I feel like the kids even that do have fucking older people look up to, they're not guiding them in the right direction anymore. Like, if I could have somebody guide me down the right road as a kid 
to still get away with some of that stupid shit we did, but to not get caught up and sent away and in the grave, you know what I mean? Then that's the way, you know what I'm saying? Like, other than that, like, you just sending everybody to the grave or to the jail because, you know, you shit, more power in numbers one way or the other, you know? That's just yeah. crazy. That's, the last, that's where black is, uh, guidance. Is the other side of the, yeah, and the other side of the story from the artists and then from the people that, that charge of putting out the music to the masses but the other side of the story it's all fun and games until and right now the whole youth is on the fun and games part like it's all fun yeah. and games ways and choppers and ways and racks until and then yeah. and then when, when a bunch of untils happen then you'll see the narrative change and you'll see a lot of like the music touching on how we got to change how you know what i mean like how how this is how it was but this is how i want to be like I, I learned that hindsight 2020 once again you're gonna start seeing and hearing a lot of hindsight 2020 from these youngsters transitioning from their 1920 into 25 from 26 year olds you know what i mean uh, but i feel like it's if, it's if they make it that far now <laughs> it's, yeah, exactly that's the tricky part that's the game that's, that's, and, that's the tricky part. and i get that that's what i said i understand kind of in a way because you know i wasn't supposed to be this fucking old I'm, i just turned 37 in october you know what i'm saying like Shit, the tops in my family that I think age they had was like 18, maybe 19. Like, and and even on having kids and shit, I was, I was expected to have all kinds of low age numbers for whatever, you know. And I, shit, I'm 37, I didn't have kids till I was 24, 25. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, real shit. Hey, no lie, no lie. It's fucking crazy, bro. Yeah, I mean, I, I kind of. I got some homies that's like dipped into a different side of life that, uh, you know, they still fuck with. And I don't, but I fuck with them 100%. You know what I mean? And uh, there ain't a day that I can call that they won't come running and gunning. You know what I mean? But it's, I I wouldn't call them for that anymore. You know what I mean? I, I feel like I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't put that on them. Not that I wouldn't do whatever I needed to do on my end. I just wouldn't want to have their families put in risk as well. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's a way it's a way bigger picture now. You know what I mean? Like, instead of just thinking of just me, I think about my kids, I think about shit, homies gonna be affected too. Like, it ain't, it ain't gonna stop. So, you know. I think about the same shit. I think yeah. about all that, man. Yeah. And I mean, like, as, as the kids now, they don't. I mean, you know, as far as what I fucking see, like, I mean, I'm pretty well, yeah, sure that... Yeah. You know and I remember that age, but shit, you know, I was lucky to slide through it, you know? I mean, we all were. I remember that age, too. I mean, yeah. shit, when I was 23, I got locked up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, like, and so, like, I did, I did, I did, uh, I did, I did nine and a half years in prison, dog. You know what I'm saying? Damn. I, I, That's a long vacation. I, yeah, hey, but I mean, you know what, though? I was, I understand the little kids because I was one of them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying, like. I look at it now and I'm like, damn, dude, these fools, these fools are killing each other. But back then, I didn't give a fuck. Dog. Yeah, you know yeah. What I'm well, see, that's cool that you that the, that time changed that up here because some of the people when they go in, they come out the same way they went in. Them streets still exactly, look the same yeah. to them. You know what I mean? Like no matter what exactly. time they did inside, they came back out to that same fucking environment. That bam, just like that. Yeah, they came right back and started doing the same shit. Yeah. Now, believe me, I know, bro. I mean, shit. There's a bunch of people I got out with, bro. You know, like and I keep it like. I, I still want to keep in contact with them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I be, I be, I be talking to them, man, and they're got to doing the same bullshit. They, they in it. They in the deep of that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 They're fucking, you know, messed out in a hotel for seven days type shit, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm just like, man, nigga, like, shit, you just, you just pulled 14, fool. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. you tripping like that, like, nigga, like, damn, nigga. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's just, I don't know, man. Like I said, that, 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 it's just, I understand the mentality that the little kids had. It goes back to that. I understand the mentality that the little kids had, though, because I was one of them, though. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So, like, me, I don't, I don't see it as, like, all oh, these little kids are out here wilding out more than I was because I was, like I said, I was one of them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If I was out, I was out here with a gun, and I was out here fucking tripping, and I was out here doing all that stupid shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? No, I get it. Yeah, yeah I but it's fucked up. It's, right, it's fucked up, though, dog, that, that right now, man, it's like, it's that like everybody sees everything now, bro. Like, you know, oh, yeah. it's just, everything's videotaped. Everything, everybody sees everything now, though. That's why I hear it so close to home, bro. You know 
shit. I, I got three cameras on us right now. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Real shit, you know, they, so. They get desensitized to it in a way. Like, oh, yeah, it's just another Instagram, shooting. It's on Facebook, it's just, it's just another one. Yeah, it's just yeah, another one. Even so much it's not even shit. a... You see, everything these days, bro, you know what I'm saying? It's not nothing, it's nothing these days, bro. It's nothing these days. It's Back in the day, man, you talk about somebody get shot, nigga, it was, you know, whenever I was a little kid, like, oh my God, someone got hit. It was, you know, when I was a little kid, it was different, you know what I'm saying? When I was about, like, when I was about, like, seven, eight, nine, ten, it was, it was different. Yeah. No, it was. But, like I said, it, it, I think you can see a lot of, a lot of transitioning right now, I hopefully, um, I'm being optimistic, but I think we see a lot of transitioning in in the streets and in, in the hip hop game of people growing, and then those who are grown, grown, guiding those that are transitioning and helping them making that transition smoother. From the some people got one foot out, one foot in. We need the OGs to pull. You know what I mean? Those that got one foot out. You know what I mean? Both them into a legit world. Hopefully, the, the unnecessary violence has been happening lately. You know, uh, you have people thinking two or three times now before they, they make a choice, you know, and uh, shit. Uh, like I said, we, like I said on the last podcast, we, we're doing our part to try to change the culture just by just by acting more professional with the shit and just by treating it like you're in business and showing it by sticking to your gun and being professional with this shit and positive, you know. And that's, a, that's a big cliche word, positive. Positive just means not fucking doing like dumb shit, right? Like not fucking with no one else, like just doing your thing, staying in your lane, you can make it, dog, you know what I mean? Hey, because like the way I say it, the way I used to say it with the, like the way I used to say it with the dope game, how come everybody else can just sell shit? Like Kmart don't be shooting up Walmart, like how come everyone else can just sell shit and not have a problem? Same thing with the rap game, like hey, no other genre goes through this much shit. And I, and, I, and I know, you know, like the deep-rooted elements behind this on why it, it bleeds over into the rap game, but I'm just saying, just think about it. I mean, if country can do it, if pop can do it, if every other genre can do it and just coexist, hip hop can do it without all the bodies. You know what I mean? At least without all the bodies. I was gonna say, yeah, probably without the yeah. bodies. But if you if you're thinking on a if you're thinking on a corporate level, if you think McDonald's ain't trying to take out fucking Wendy's or some shit, you got life fucked up. If they could, if they, if they could take out Burger King or Wendy's, bro, it's over with. They ain't giving a chance. They ain't giving They fucked up. Time to slide in, huh? You know, like. True. Yeah. You when a rapper gunning for your spot, so you go harder on the mic, and sometimes it turns into a battle, and then the corporation feed off the battle because then sell the sky, and then no one dies. That's beautiful. Yeah. As you know, what I mean, I'm, I'm for it. I'm for it. You I'm know, sure somebody dies down, down the line. Though. Somebody yeah. dies down the line because somebody, if if you a corporation and you just got wiped out by McDonald's, that means you lost how many millions of jobs? Somebody dying in that bitch. <laughs> but, but that's the game. You know how it is. Like some people enjoy the. the it's just it's just the, where we take it. It's yeah. where we take it as that genre compared to other places. You know, like all that shit will still exist without the bodies, but it's just we take it to the bodies. You know what I'm saying? Like that's how fast we gonna get there. You know, fuck all this conversation paperwork shit. It's straight to the body. You know what I mean? Take out the fucking head of the snake type shit. And that's that's the that's the cold truth, <laughs> you know. Like, I, know. I mean, and then because that's the cold truth, you just kind of like you kind of just turn into like, fuck it, I ain't even competing, I ain't even trying. I mean, I'm just trying to make music, make a dollar, and stay out the way because you ain't trying to get caught up. You know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah. Gotta... yeah. Fuck that. I mean, like you know, I I'm I don't think there's anybody in Corpus can really say that they don't honestly fuck with me. Like, they know me at least, uh, and that I've fucking shaded them on some kind of shit, whether they had a problem with somebody or not. Um, if anything, shit, 10 times out of 10, I've tried to diffuse that motherfucking situation between them if I knew both sides. Uh, still to this day, I do that shit, and to this day, I've gotten some bridges built, you know, like, for people, and just, you know, uh, was cool with that, you know, like, I went in thinking, you know, one of these sides is going to be like, fuck you, freak. You know what I mean? Like, get the fuck out of here with that bullshit. I see how you, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
And I, I never got that from anybody, you know? Like, they respected that I was trying to keep the peace, even if it was further than I was able to reach and help, you know, they still saw the gesture for what it was, you know? Fucking, uh, nah, I was, uh, like a few days ago, I guess three years ago on Facebook, the memories of us going to, uh, Atlanta with the Kings came up, you know, where they fucking won the, um, they won the high standard in Dallas and then fucking got sent to, uh, Atlanta for the finals. But the finals was like with a fucking hundred other producers from the whole United States, which is fucking crazy, but dope as fuck. So they like ran through the battle. Uh, but anyway, like on Facebook, I had asked for people to just give me shit. Like, I appreciate it. I'll, now that I listen to me say it out loud, sounds funny when I start that sentence out, but to give away in fucking Atlanta. You know what I mean? While I was up there, I was like, use me as your motherfucking promoter. Give me fly city shirts, whatever the fuck you want to have somebody in Atlanta have. Give it to me, and I got you. I'm not going to sell the shit, but I'll pass that shit out. You know what I mean? I'm not... I don't, you know, this is how I'm doing it, so y'all want to do it like that? Shit, my hands are yours. Uh, nobody fucking gave me nothing, dog. We ended up getting, like, two or three hundred stickers printed from uh, from Smack when he was doing the printing at the time of Ambition stickers, Block Leader stickers, and fucking Priestess One King stickers. Slapped them bitches all over fucking Atlanta, like, everywhere we fucking were. And we were all over that bitch, subways and all, airports, fucking, it's crazy. Wow. But, uh... Yeah, no, nope, nobody wanted to use the tool that I'm trying to give them. Like you were saying, like everybody needs to be that selfless, whatever. But even at that time, like when you try to give yourself for them to be, like, there nobody wants to still take that step either. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit. Like, man, I would use that. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Like anytime I've seen, like, before Big Belly Kid was on fucking Third Coast Sundays, he was going to Cali. Uh, he was just a fan of the fucking show. I had just got a shitload of fucking uh, flyers printed up. Uh, and, you know, you could listen across the country, so it was just online. Uh, he took a fucking stack out to fucking California and passed them over out there. And, you know, just for the love. Ended up like a year later, he came on the show with those. You know, so... And that was nothing out of him just going to his normal wherever he was going to go. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. I'm not asking yeah. you to go fucking sit in the club if you don't want to or whatever. You know, pass that shit out. Shit. You know what I'm saying? So we uh we all had fucking three six one kings sweaters printed up and shit. So it looked like a mob of motherfuckers, like eight of us in just black sweaters with three six one kings across the back. And um, <laughs> like people recognized it because it was a bunch of us in the same shit. You know, and I had that in mind going out there. Like that certain shit that was like going through my head, like. If we're going out there, we can't go out there and just look like everybody in Atlanta. We got to stand out, like, as funny as it sounds, like in the movies when they, you know, squatted up to dance or whatever the fuck type shit. This is what we're doing. We're we're walking billboards. You know what I'm saying? So why the fuck not? So we looked mob deep in that bitch. Um, Hats and everything. Had the Corpus hats. Shout out to Dust. We went and picked up those Corpus hats before we left. Uh, And the beanies and shit. So... Everything you saw on us said 361 or Corpus, one or the other. Even the fucking lanyards we had, like, um, somebody actually thought I was fucking dust in Atlanta. Real shit in the fucking airport. 
I had the corpus hat on, had the fucking the uh, black sweater on, had a little beard, had the glasses, and somebody caught me in the restroom at all times. Hey, is your, your name DJ Dust? I was like, nah, bro, I was uh, he's all, you look like him. I was like, believe it or not, that was from my fucking hometown, bro. Like, and he was like, oh, shit, that's crazy. But I didn't want to spend too much time talking to him because we're in the men's restroom. So, but, but that was wild as fuck, you know what I mean? Like, to be in Atlanta and for somebody to recognize me as somebody else from Corpus, you know, not even just somebody I know, just somebody from Corpus, you know, that was fucking dope. Like, you know, and, 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 and on, you know, going to Atlanta, that was like the intentions of, of us going out there the way we did was so people could see us, you know what I mean? Like, my initial idea when we first fucking made it past the semis in, uh, in Dallas was uh, Facebook, who wants to go? We're flying to Atlanta, let's mob deep, let's take a plane, you know what I mean? Let's do a thing, you know, everybody, let's ride. And, you know, only we <laughs> fucking mob deep, but like eight of us. But imagine if it had been anybody who was doing anything, you know, and spending whatever to get that plane ticket. That shit, I was like, we do this shit like the, we do this shit like the projects. We'll get one Airbnb or hotel and straight all be in that bitch. However many people, you know what I'm saying? Like with however many pockets you got in that bitch, man, we gonna live luxurious either way. You know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, nobody, uh, I guess maybe didn't have the bread it was around this time of year. So, you know, it was right after Thanksgiving and shit. And, um, you know, I get it, but just the idea of what it could have been. More than what it was to just us, you know. Yeah. Yeah, Drew would have went. Drew got to get over on the road, shit. I'm always on the road, man. That's what's up. That's right. I feel like. crazy too is that is that you can still put on for your city too though like there's lots of people like shout out big will man this time of year always reminds me of big will because he was doing the thanksgiving turkey drives and he was doing the christmas tour drives and shit and oh, yeah. and will oh, yeah. and, and, he literally the city. and that's putting like, that's putting on for your city too you know what i'm saying and, and he didn't have to yeah, leave his city does he publicize it like or well, yeah, I mean, there was if people knew, you know what I mean? Like, people knew, uh, uh, I mean, shit, enough to pop trunk a couple times on some turkeys alone, you know what I mean? Like, so, and then toys fucking galore, bro. Like, yeah, so, and he's done that a few times, a few years, uh, and if people didn't fucking donate, bro, he went out and spent his own bread and did and still did the thing, which is like, you know, fucking straight from the heart, bro. There ain't no fucking, you know, ultra, you know, ultra interiors, you know what I'm saying? Like, behind that shit, like, uh... That's putting on for your city. No, you're right, you're right. I, I was just meaning, yeah. We're gonna, we're gonna have to listen to the Jeezy track and then go line for line and be like, did, did he, is that, is that law? Is that law? Is that law? Is that law? Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Nah, no, I know. I was just fucking with you. I was just fucking with you. How did how did you uh how did you feel on the the Gucci Jeezy?
So was that, that on the was well. that on the Jeezy tip or was that on the Gucci tip though? The whole era, the whole motherfucker, the whole two thousand four era, like two thousand three, two thousand. See. I can't, I can't front. I wasn't, I didn't, uh, I listened to Gucci here and there, but I never digged into an album like I did uh, Jeezy's. You know what I mean? Like, I never sat and replayed an album, you know what I'm saying? Like, I did Jeezy's. So, I went, you know, I went in that thinking, like, Jeezy's got it on that alone, but hearing the Gucci tracks, I was like, man, that's pretty cold. And then hearing how far he went with it, I was like, damn, that's even colder, like, Shit, bro. Man, yeah, so, so th- that's where the world splits. That's where the world splits. You either become that man, you become that man like Jeezy, who fucking uh, is trying to put all that shit to the past, or you become that man like Gucci, who's still like, you know what, fuck you till I'm gone yeah, type shit. Yeah. Fuck you and your homie. I send them to you in a box, you know, whatever. Yeah, 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 so that's where the world is, where you grow up to still be that guy or this guy. You know what I mean? Like, and I don't know. It's crazy. It was good for both of them. It was good for both no, 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 definitely. definitely. But I mean, if you you get all kinds of street people, Gucci won ten times out of ten. You know what I mean? Nah, nah, real shit. Ten times out of ten, ain't no debate on that shit. But yeah. you know, in the nah. corporate world, as the corporate thug that that Jeezy's, you know, name yeah, to be. Yeah. Yeah. Shit, nah. Let's yeah. see. Shout outs. I ain't got no shout Y'all call me on a Tuesday night, bro. You got a whole production set. What's up? I said, what you got coming next? You got a whole production You got a whole production studio right behind you? What's coming up? Not a motherfucking thing, bro. I had this shit surrounding me like fucking... Like I was Jesus in the manger. You know what I'm saying? That shit's always been around. It's just a matter of uh, wanting to put something out. You know what I mean? Like, always wanting to perfect something to push something out. So at the moment... It's the clash. Uh, I want to start doing some other shit, kind of like this, basically, but just called fucking with freak. You know what I mean? Where you just coming through and you fucking with freak. You know what I mean? Like yeah, the conversation end up here could end up on the other side of the world. You know what I mean? Could end up in a freestyle. You know what I'm talking about? But <laughs> yeah, just just something that's more me and the person. Hmm. I got cut off. But yeah. Fuck with free. Yo. My bad, bro. Shit just got cut off, man. Nah, you good? I was just about to fucking uh, end my live on this other side, too. I looked Look, over. This time, man, that shit was perfect. That shit came out perfect, guy. If you, you, you would do, like, more than half the work for us with your skills. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, but... Uh, Real shit though, I wanna start doing something. I don't know what exactly. I don't have a I don't have a fucking layout in mind or any shit like that. You know what I mean? I just kinda push shit around me and, and work from wherever it is. Like Yeah, yeah. Like it ain't nothing fucking crazy what I showed y'all earlier, but could have fooled me. You can you get a one stop shop. But yeah, so just these little chill spot. We even finally eventually got our fucking Little AC in this bitch, cause that bitch has been cold or hot in this bitch, one or the other, and never our choice. So this is a, one of those little air units. That's all you need. That's, that shit gets it cold, cold as a bitch in there with those. Yeah, yeah. Look. Am I still live? I'm going live. You going live right now? Still? I told you. That's why I said. I looked to my left and I was all shit. I'm still live. That's what's up. Yeah. You get any I don't know. I ain't been paying attention since three right can now. Hear, can they even hear us? Can they hear me talking to you? Yeah. Through a different screen? You're on my phone. That's right. I got Drew calling me on FaceTime, too. Hey. And that was dope. Yeah. yeah. It'll drop tomorrow. We can do the edit on And then we have a, we're trying to get it to where we drop. We drop them in the morning pretty consistently, at least a couple a week. Have a nice little, you know, wake and bake session with a good podcast. That's what's so, up. Yeah. Yeah, so I got... Don't tell, uh, I thought you were live right now, or earlier. No, we, we edited it, you know what I mean? You can play, play fuck up, or like, you got, you know, daughters be running, or someone's girl just come in and yell at them real quick, just take their cool out, they whole walk, we gotta reset. Yeah, you know yeah. I mean? so you, just, <laughs> you never know what's gonna happen. That's
That's funny. Yeah. My girl came in and fucking smoked in the background and then bounced. And I, I don't even know if y'all knew it. Oh, yeah, see, that's cool. Hell yeah. She already knows. She already knows your stand up. Yeah, see. Entertainment in the entertainment business. All that good. Yeah. I don't got the fucking door and shit. Yeah. That's cool, man. Yeah, but I don't know something. I, I'll let you, you know I'll fucking plug in with you whenever I figure out exactly what I'm trying to do. Um, but I got to... Right that versus is working, man. That versus is... is yeah. Uh, shit, Boston called. I guess everybody, I, I'm, I'm interested in that shit. You see that? Boston? Yeah. yeah. I, I like to see Boston heavy hands. I would love to see a DJ battle. I'd like to see heavy hands because he was like at one point... That screwed DJ for Corpus. Yeah. And I don't want to say that wrong, like maybe he's not no more or something like that, but whatever. The comparison there is that is on that. You know what I mean? So that's why I'd like to see that. Um, as far as going against like Dragon or... Oh, man. Dragon has to be like a judge. You have to get Dragon. That's, Dragon's nice. He's like, he's an assassin on, his, on the wheel. It's a different DJ. It's a different it's party. A different, it's a different right. party. <laughs> It's a different party. That's it. That's all there is to it. They're both throwing a party, but it's a different one. Yeah. But, uh, I shit. Dragon used to pull up a guitar center to throw the, at those DJ battles and just, just, just kill it. Just kill it. I remember that one unbeatable that had him and, uh, who the fuck was up there with him? He was like battling somebody at one of the unbeatables during like a break time or something. Yeah. I remember that too. I don't remember who he battled, but I remember. Yeah, 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 just for the culture. Mm-hmm. But yeah, shit, so what, this is a, you, you fucking with him on this uh, podcast now? Because I've seen his shit, and I've seen you on there like once, I think. Yeah, yeah, I, I was talked into it. I'm, like I said, I'm on. He said I was talked into it. He said, I got a text, I got a text on a Tuesday night asking what I was doing. <laughs> yeah, I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, I'm gonna be on your podcast. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So the questions you hit me with, the questions you hit me with tonight, that's your answer right there. Like as far as, you know, what happened to uh, Third Coast Sundays, what happened to the cave. Like it's a lot of work, bro. Like it's a lot of work, right? The, at the at our on our peak business style of the cave, we had uh my homegirl uh, Melissa call her Mama Dusa. Uh she um she was doing the the fucking scheduling and shit. You know what I mean? She was contacting people to come on the show. Like, we were setting up shit professionally, and that was, like, as far as we got business-wise. Like, it was on its way, but, you know, it's still still a lot of work when somebody don't want to talk to somebody who they don't even know, you know? And, right. and, a, and a lot of the people we would get on there is somebody, like, we personally worked with, so they expect to hear from us. You know what I'm saying? Like... <laughs> So, and I got that part. I was just like, damn, this is a lot of y'all. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, shit. Then, you know. But shout out to Mama Deuce. She definitely got out there and reached out to all her fucking people. You know, like, she got some shit done. She made shit easier. Definitely. Yeah. But yeah, yeah no, doing it on your own, yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a motherfucker, bro. It's a yeah, motherfucker. So I, I just try to contribute with the, with the guests, like, with his guests. So people off top, and my guests are people off top. like this, you know what I mean? Just keep it light to where it doesn't feel like a lot of work. Because once it starts feeling like a lot of work, because we rappers first, like it's not taking over yeah. the music. It's just a, a platform and it, it promotes the take money page and you know what I mean? Like, yeah, 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 I got you. I got you. It, it's, it's his passion. He, he liked it. Drippy, Drippy wants to do podcasting. Like he kind of fell in love with it. Me, not so much. I've never been on the camera this conse- consecutively. Uh, yeah. I don't want to like oversaturate, you know what I mean? Because you get tired of hearing my face or yeah. just hearing my face. Pretty much, that's what it is I'm doing here in my face. Yeah, yeah I don't want people to. But we'll see. What you think, man? It's pretty dope, right? Yeah, no, no, I like it. I mean, shit, I see, you know, me, you, shit. That's the reason you called me was because of the podcast shit. So I, I liked it whether it was in my face or over the radio waves, like just 
just being able to conversate with people. You know what I'm saying? Like, I conversate with anybody. We fi- we figure out whatever we have in common and shit, we gone. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. good, good luck trying to stop that conversation. Like, you know what I'm saying? And that's with anybody. And that's, I feel like I have that relationship with a lot of people because I find the common ground between us, you know? And, yeah. and, and with hip hop shit, we can talk about that all Oh, yeah. All yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but, you know, aside from all of hip hop, period, you know, I got people outside of that shit. It's just kind of. They support me because it's me. They don't support me because they like hip hop. You know. Yeah. So, and you know that that's cool shit. I, that's love too. You know what I mean? Like I ain't, I don't uh, downplay that shit at all. Like that's that's your core fans, I guess. You know. Yeah. As a human being. <laughs> right. The people that would like if you started something else entirely, they'd still be there. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta rock with them and take that heavy move. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, that's psycho. Yeah, just off the strength, right? I mean, like off the strength. Well, that's like I, what I was, you know, talking about earlier in a way, like that little trampoline that you need to jump, and you got that motherfucker in front of you, like, like you have you have all these people. Your trampoline is your rapping, like your stepping stone into you know getting to the martial arts or getting the support, you know, for the martial arts. Off top, they're just supporting you because you're you. You know what I'm saying, like. They may never even have wanted to do martial arts in their life, but hey, he's doing it. He's teaching. I'm cool with him. You know, let me go peep that. Shit, and now it's podcasting, you know what I mean? or, or whatever, maybe, or movies, or like, yeah. any endeavor. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, whatever. And I mean, shit, like all that too, like with the green screen behind me, I don't even have it to do like a podcast thing. I, I'm thinking more like cartoon, not cartoon, but commercials type shit, just like uh, just skits or something like that, you know? Nothing, nothing crazy, or I mean, it might be crazy because somebody got to do it. And, like, just content, yeah. Just content, yeah. Cool content. Like I've had this idea to do um, Facebook comments where you, uh, you know, you find some Facebook comments where people are just going back and forth and it's funny as shit, right? You may not even know these people. Well, you take those comments and you turn them into a script, and then you get people to act that shit out in person. You know what I'm saying, like. That's easy. That's easy. You know what I'm saying? It's literally easy. written for you. Like, you know, and you just add your little whatever comedic uh, swang to it. You know what I'm saying? Your little swag to it and, and you're good. Like, that could work. Yeah. I mean, it's just something simple, you know? Just keep it simple. Don't make it hard. And, I mean, there's a market out there for everybody, you know? It's crazy. Who's going to reach out to you to see, uh, it's probably too. Yeah, my tour, my touring days is is gone. Like, man, I'm my both my kids are fucking teenagers now, so yeah. That's all right. That's what I figured. That's yeah. What I figured. Because I would have to decline too if someone said the same thing. Like, I mean, not not the tour, but <laughs> like, like, like if I'm not the one on tour, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, to, like, yeah. My girl, like, you're just gonna be documenting it, like, no, I ain't saying. Yeah, 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 exactly, exactly, and, and I mean, shit, like, once upon a time, bro, fuck, hell yeah, hell yeah. I'll ask the class up with you, talk to, uh, talk to Keith, he can work the camera, he can work the camera pretty damn good, and Wrath. I'm sure he might be looking for some Christmas work. What time? Are, when are y'all doing all that? Okay, we go. The show's Friday. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Plan B like a motherfucker. Yeah, it was doing this. this you were the only plan, and then like, <laughs> we, didn't, we didn't have a we didn't have a plan B or C, and we just kind of forgot about asking someone to document. Probably get someone's girl to hold the phone. Yeah. Like that. I mean, shit. Phone's shooting 4K now, anyway. <laughs> 
Right. Just tell them, tell them to shoot sideways. Tell them landscape all the time. Landscapes. Not vertical. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking, uh, what's up with Apple? You good or what? Oh, yeah, shit, man. I'm still here at the house trying to pull me back to the, to the store. I was like, fuck that. I'm like, I'm not going back to the store. Well, I didn't exactly say that, but I was like, <laughs> back around to me and make sure everything. No one likes to be at home but me. Everyone was dying to go back to the store. I like working from home and taking the calls. This shit works perfect. I can do music promo in between every break, every lunch break, every bathroom break. Yeah. I'm doing something music related. That's right. So, I, Hell yeah. Um, so yeah, but it's going good, man. It's going good. I get a, a good 40, sometimes 45 a week. And I said, that's at the house. That's what I can't stress enough. So they're like, hey, yo, we're just seeing you. know, if you weren't ready to make adjustments, to grab some type of a store. And I was like, why? Like, are we still like in high COVID alert? Yeah. Don't, don't, don't a lot of other people want to go back? I was like, go check on all them first. And they come out at me. Pretty yeah. much that, that is what I told them. I was like, I thought I was going to be at least for six months. They, not promised, but they made it seem as if, and then my girl's working night shift at HEB. I said, I'll, we're only able to do this because of, I gave them a whole thing. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Trip, but you, you shouldn't have even had to give them all that, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. We only had to, I only had to work at home when I volunteered more than I had to, basically. I only, I only worked at home as, as soon as I did because I volunteered and joined the program because y'all needed help. And then because of the whole COVID situation and because I, the hours weren't at first the same, they weren't full-time at first, my girl had to get another job before I started full time at the house, and H B was only hiring overnight. So now we're in this way of life to where like I don't know if I can go back. Now I got kids, all the kids learning from home. I wrote asleep throughout the day, you know what I mean? So she wakes up like, yeah. How? I mean, how am I gonna go back? Like, yeah, yeah. Everything's yeah. changed. Everything's changed. Yeah, and and that's what's kind of that's what I said. I was like, shit, dude. I, like I, I'm explaining this, and I was like. I shouldn't have to explain this, you know what I mean? But if, you know, if to, I'm just trying to be transparent. That's why I told myself, with all due respect, I'm only, I'm just being transparent, you know, even though I, sh- I shouldn't have to, just, you know, based on what I was told. But yeah. So you know I'm not bullshitting you. Yeah. So you know I'm not bullshitting you. Yeah. 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 You, see, like, you see everyone this year? Like, but yeah, it's going good, though. They, they said, all right, pretty much, they, they said, all right, it's all right. So we're like, okay, cool, cool. We'll, we'll do that. We'll be back. I said, all right. <laughs> just send, yeah. just send my checks, bitch. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Damn. Just send, just send my checks. That's all. That's tight though, shit. Nah, that's cool. Like I, I, my, my daughters think it's pretty fucking cool that you work at Apple too, or that I know somebody that works at Apple, and I'm like, yeah, I'm cool. <laughs> they do. That's what yeah, yeah, like real shit. Like, man, they didn't have no Apple phone for for a minute. Like, their first, first phone was an Android from my mom, you know what I mean? So they had that phone for, like, a year. And then we got them the Android, uh, the iPhones after that. And then, you know, they just been all appled out, you know, so. So for me to know somebody, when I was, like, telling them, I'm going to call my boy who works at fucking uh, Apple real quick, my daughter's like, what? I was like, yeah, I know somebody. Watch, check this out. And she was, like, on the side where you were telling me all the information and shit. Just, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. She was tripping the fuck out, though. But that's fucking cool, though. Like, real shit. Yeah. No, I can't. You can take them, if ever, in the area, in Austin, and if everybody goes back to normal, it's still pretty cool in COVID version, but the store, the, the store where I did used to work, yeah. even though I did have to go back, it's not the worst thing. It's, it's not as cool working from the house, but the store is dope. It's like, it's exactly what you think it, it'd be. Like, you, All you futuristic out, like, shit? Yeah, dude, as a tech dude who loves gadgets yeah. and filming shit and, yeah. and, and music shit, it's like a candy store, dude. All the cool podcasts and things, camera swivels, extendos for your lenses, you know, like That's tight. drones and everything. Like, and then a big ass giant jumbotron screen to, for tutorials, like on GarageBand. So, is that like the uh, the main Apple or something? Whatever headquarters or no? Damn. 
That's right. We can see from Japan, all world famous, famous people, TikTokers, celebrities from far and wide. Like, I, I met some really cool celebrities and they're creators of, like, animes where I'm like, I don't know who that is, but then I see all, like, these nerds, like, clamoring around them and, like, yeah. I'm like, who's that? And they're like, that's the creator of Jewel. I'm like, what's Jewel? And then they're like, it's an anime. And then they show me, I'm like, that's that dude? I'm like, cool. And then I go, help him. It's good. It's throat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fucking yeah. badass. Yeah, my daughters would definitely freak out on some shit like that because they didn't fucking keep up with all that trending TikTok, YouTube shit. Like, yep. I just pass through it on Facebook. If I see it on Facebook, I'll, I'll like copy it and send it to them. But other than that, I'm I'm fucking behind on shit like that. Coolest person there that they go hands down was uh, Steve, uh, Steve uh, Tim Cook himself. I met him, and then uh, the dude from Supernatural. <laughs> from Supernatural, uh, the main guy. The main guy, the, the brother with the long hair. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Yeah. He was cool. That's crazy. And just stopping through, just buy some shit. Yeah. My girl loves Supernatural. I, I wouldn't have taken a picture, but I need to get <laughs> her out. So I was like, I can get a picture. Totally against policy. You're not supposed to. I said, look, I'm a park and only. We get a picture. Like, yeah, yeah. So I was like, we don't see this shit every day. Like, For so real. I'm getting a picture. No one said shit. Got a picture. He tried to cheek the cheek it. I'm like, you know what I mean? Nah, so I'll follow he did? Right. Uh, yeah, he tried to cheat, cheat it. Damn. He tried to cheat it. There you go. Hey. You should have just turned like yeah. that. You should have just turned like yeah. that and try to kiss him. <laughs> yeah, right. Try to blow his mind. Yeah. Like, yeah I'm going to keep problem. this picture now, homie. I, I need 500 grand for this picture. Yeah. Uh, Tim Cook, UFC fighter, rolled up in there. Um, That's cool. That's cool. Yeah, it's cool. It's take, take him in there one day if you ever. It's, yeah. it's like. Where is he at? Austin? Or around Austin? Mm -hmm. In Austin, kind of like northern northern Austin before you start entering the northern towns like where I'm at, Pflugerville. And oh, you know what? Here. Speaking of fucking Austin, earlier you said about not, um, about, I guess, traveling more out of town. And I was thinking, didn't you go to fucking South by Southwest a few years? I did. Right? Yeah, and you, I don't know if you had a product with you, but I know you were out there with the team. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, that, I, I guess I was, I, I guess I didn't give myself credit for that one. Um, yeah, because I was, I was like, I was waiting for whatever you were saying after that to finish, and I completely got thrown off with whatever you finished with, but I was going to say that at that moment. I was like, nah, that's not true, because you've been moving around, like, you know, don't, don't downplay yourself, you know, your own, your own past, you know? That's true. That. Uh, See, that's the shit yeah. though. Don't, don't leave it alone. Don't, stop right there. He said, I'm forgetting my shit. That's the humble line that I'm talking about. You know what I mean? Like, I'm reminding you. I'm reminding you. You're not reminding me. You know what I'm saying? Remember when I made that flex list one time? That flex post? Just like, and I remember it because I read the name before, but I, I, like, I made like a list of like resume that was for me because that was, that was more for me because I forget. You know what I mean? Like, I, if you come across if you come across that list again, I want to say I would bet money that I'm on there telling you you don't have to do that. Yeah, <laughs> no doubt. That you shouldn't have to say that. But yeah, but that was one of those moments where we're only human, you know. It, it's like because the thing is like every day I fucking I, I try to lay a brick, you know what I mean? Like like a little brick, like one little center block, and I scrape it. So I don't remember every brick, but I do know that I have definitely been building because I'm looking at a wall. Yeah. Look, not a whole wall, but like a nice little progress where like I step it back and I'm like, God damn, like it's still coming together. You yeah. know what I mean? But I don't remember every single, I'd be lying if I told you if I remember every little brick, but I do know I've been laying bricks for a minute. Yeah, 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 definitely. So, like, I'm like, oh yeah, that, did, that was a nice brick back then. That was a nice brick. See, and I think there's actually a time period, uh, I know for a fact there's a time period of music that you have that I'm not familiar with, which is probably pre-2010, 11-ish. I don't yeah, know what you had back anything there. Anything pre guapo Mustafa is pretty obscure. That's like my group date. Okay, so that shit. All that. That I've never heard of. 
Uh, I think I've maybe seen you maybe post a track or two. There's only physical copies from like a burned, or like burned laptop physical copies. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I think you found something and posted it, and it was like a, a rare find or some shit. And, and, uh, and MySpace, you know what I mean? Mm. If I ever reset a password on MySpace, that's the only place you can find that shit or a physical copy of this search. People from like the Stingers, Club One, La Barubas, Aaron Dave house but it was it was that 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 local neighborhood work and then it was that's the reason why and that was a trampoline that is why the guapo group Gestapo performed well to where like people like you know where like you were hearing it um the local you know what what kicked off the scene that was like it was a piece of the scene you know what i mean it was a good piece of work to where so like the guapo Gestapo sleeping on the ball was the pre-work to there was pre-work to the to the Guapo Gustavo, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I don't know, it's hard, it's hard to explain. The, the Guapo Gustavo was a strong introduction because, like, I had, like, an intro intro, like, a hitter, like, a, with a preface. Yeah. Like, before chapter one, there was a preface. Yeah. You know? And then, and then it was like, all right, for real, for real, for real, that was just practice, you know? And then it was like, what do you mean that was just practice? Like, that was just practice. But, like, Guapo Gustavo was where it started. Mm. So what, like, y'all, y'all, as you were part of that group, right? But yeah, no, they're my brothers. But like, y'all put out projects together, or just kind of fucked around together? No, nah, we we put out four projects. Oh. Um, they, 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 we all dispersed. Cisco died. Cisco got murdered, and then uh, Ito left to Nevada. Um, his brother Jose. Cisco was their cousin. I was the only one that wasn't blood related. His brother mm-hmm. Jose joined the Coast Guard. Marty, the adopted brother, moved back to Cleveland. And so I was just like, I'm a solo act now. So that's when the Guapo Gustavo came out. You know yeah, what I mean? Sure. And that's why the first track is like, Must Have Forgot. And then, so like, if you never heard of me, like, Must Have Forgot what? You're like, Yeah. Guess who's back? <laughs> yeah, it, 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 was for, it was for the, you know what I mean? For the 500 who bought, they bought the. Okay. There, 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 was, there, there was a, you know, I think we got posted footage, last concert footage, there was some stingers and shit, rocking shows, like, it was really popping, it was like some real good stars back then before there was a, like, Public Zoo was like the only thing popping, and Young Trill, Johnny D before the Gotti Gang, was a Young Trill. So was that and like... Was like Public Zoo versus Young Trill, because Public Zoo was off some conscious hip-hop shit, and Young Trill was off some... What some years, what shit. years were those? Oh four, oh oh three, oh four. Wow. You know, okay, so we were fresh out of high school, all four. We put all of our all of our hustling money, all of our all of our adult money, all of our money together, me and my best friend Cisco, and we cut our it was TSO, the streets option, and it was a it was a run DMC type tape, mob deep type tape, me and Cisco. And Johnny D was with the with, with the team, T E A M and mm-hmm. the young trills, the young yo, uh Joey, you know what I mean? The yeah. Bobby Whispers. Uh, all them cats and Willie was with Rock Bottom and I and Merck was Merck and he just got out the pen and I'm like, that's Merck, like the graffiti writer's Merck, like you got to, like yeah, like he he's linking up with B4, B4 before J Task, you know what I mean? And I wanted in, like I wanted in. So then we linked up. Cisco's cousins moved came in from Puerto Rico and um we all linked up. We we became we instantly clicked. We've been best friends since like two thousand four. And then after TSO, after the Run DMC project, that's project one, it was prestigious now and forever. And that was the five of us. And then it was prestigious now, uh, and then it was prestigious. The second title, Case Files, and some shit like that. Like some super grimy ass gangster ass name. <laughs> cases yeah. and fucking, you know what I mean? Like some shit. Uh, volume two, basically, the volume two. And, uh, and then. Then we dispersed, and then I dropped the big payback mixtape, white label, hard copies. Um, so there's, so there's four, there's four free Waffle Gustavo projects. That, Damn. That I really popped trunk with, and really like turned into profit, and like recorded at Metropolis, most of them, and then outside of, and then in our closet when all five of us were living together, like, and then all that content, like Waffle Gustavo sleeping on the South Wall. That's when I was. That's when the music, that's when the rhymes were current. That is like, you know, when they say like, in, in, you in know, the, when we're keeping it the realest, you know what I mean? Like, today's times. Definitely pre-Guapo days. 
What was going on, man? Yeah. That's, that's, I, ain't, I ain't changed that much. I'm like, I ain't just saying, wow, I'm still pretty much in the gym. Like, ain't, ain't too much change. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's how I feel like, because um, obviously today I ain't doing none of the shit that, that before you would know me, uh, what I would do. You know what I'm saying? So it's just, um, how can you rap about doing the shit you did back then now when you're the complete opposite? You know what I'm saying? Right. But there's still your stories to tell. You know what I mean? Like, it's it, shit. yeah, it's not fucking fiction. You know what I'm saying? Like, that shit's real. I mean, I'm, I'm still, like, I'm still hustling, but I'm not, I'm not trapped in the year. You know what I mean? I'm yeah. still working. Yeah. That's not what I'm known for. You know what I mean? Like, but I've always been a hustler. Like, to me, it's nothing special. It's another thing, like, that's just a, like a humble, like, I guess that's just like a humble curse. Like, it's like life. I don't feel like, like, I'm not trying to, like, I'm not trying to win the most. Yeah, it's, especially in somebody else's eyes. Right, especially in someone else's eyes. Right, like nothing. Like there's a lot of things I do. I'm not proud of. Like I'm not proud of it. Yeah. Like yeah. Fuck, I should be better off. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Like fuck, I should have my life more together. Like I should not have to. Should not have to. Like, like I got turkey. Got turkey bags on turkey bags right now. Like just. Yeah, man. Yeah. Super, super, super low. Because I work at Apple. And I'm a musician. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I'm a professional musician. The moment I start seeing residual from, from something, yep. that's all I'm going to do. Yep. Long term, that's all I'm going to do. Yep. I mean, shit, you got to. a couple of more raises, that's all I'm going to do. I have a number. You should have a number. Everybody should have a number. I should just like the thrill of shit. I don't. Yeah, I don't know. Some some days I'm. It's it's uh, again two sides of the world. Your, your your love for something and the actual real world. You know what I mean? Like like I love doing all this creative shit. And, you know, the fact is it doesn't like it just kind of sits around me. Like I said, since a fucking like baby Jesus, like all this shit's always been around me. I've just never utilized it. And if I did, I didn't really utilize it for money. And I got charged here and there for videos, but a lot of the shit that I did that I personally wanted to do, you know, I ain't make no money off of that shit. I ain't make no money off Third Coast Sundays. I ain't make no money off the cave. Damn sure I ain't making no money off of Clash. You know what I'm saying? So, and I was telling PZ the other night that, that um, you know, time is our most precious commodity. You know what I mean? Fuck money, fuck gold, fuck all that shit. Time. That's... That's it. You know what I mean? Like, what are you going to do with that shit? You know? Are you going to spend it, you know, trying to chase that dollar? Or are you going to spend it trying to fucking be you? To tell you the truth. If you could get both, then amen. You know what I'm saying? To tell you both. To tell you the truth, both. With, with rap, that's why I love this game. Because the only thing, that and martial arts. But martial arts, it gets physically taxing. <laughs> yeah. Rap bet. is not physically. Like, rap is yeah. fun. Like, yeah. hip hop is if it was truly about the dollar, I would leave rap alone and just and just continue investing in land or like hustling harder or like doing something practical, fucking get a barber degree. Like I would be an awesome barber because I would never float because I'm just that type of person. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, I would make house calls. Like I would be reliable. I would be customer service oriented. But it would be dope to be one of those barbers, like on a. Like on a actual big tour, like a rough rider tour or something, like a hard night life yeah. tour to be the barber in that. Oh man! Definitely be doing like that. Yeah, and that's Man, that's that's, 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 getting that's getting both. That's getting both. It's almost getting both. <laughs> yeah. Ain't nothing like being on stage, man. Ain't nothing like wrecking, like wrecking a mic, like landing, like landing a punch. Like I never. You you would feel some kind of way. You would feel some kind of way if you were cutting their hair and they were on stage. <laughs> 
Right? Yeah, you would feel some kind of, yeah, I ain't gonna blame you. Shit, I would too. Be like, I should be up there. He should be cutting my hair. Like, yeah, but that is me. Yeah. And, and only in rap, not just in life. Not yeah. just cut. Like, if it ain't rap, if I got no business up there to be shining for that crap, I don't want to be up there. But, like, rap, man, I love doing this shit. Like, so, it ain't, yeah. it ain't as much as I say it is, it ain't just about the money, too. There's a hundred other ways to make it for the dollar that I should be doing that are more practical. Yeah. But, no, nah, this, this shit's gonna work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Said it would. You know what I mean? Yeah. You gotta fucking uh, will that shit into existence. It came too far. Yo, I believe that shit too. I believe you, like, I don't know, man. It's like the same shit when you try to break a board. Like, you don't hit the board, you hit through that shit. You yeah. Know what I mean? like, you look past it. Yeah, past it. You're, yeah. Yeah, you're already looking behind now. Like, what board? Yeah. That shit, like, that shit ain't just like. Yeah, no, that's a great fucking, great analogy. Definitely. That's fucking. That's just life period too, you know? Mm-hmm. Whatever it is. Oh my god damn. Well shit, uh, I was gonna say I'm gonna hit you back and figure out this whole I probably can't call it fucking with freaks because they probably won't let me last but ten minutes on Facebook. Right. <laughs> I think something. I actually got I got spammed earlier, like today for some post that we posted for the smoke shop. And they uh, tagged me today saying that video was uh, illegal because it has drug substances in there. And I was like, what the fuck? Like, you know how many weed plant things I post, like, a week? You know, like, just sharing fucking weed-related shit. But, so I think I almost got blocked today. Yeah. Uh, Item is illegal. That's fucking stupid. Yeah. Yeah, and this was from March. So I don't know. They uh, barely got their... uh, their team back in the building or something or what? But this should be federally legal. It just needs to be not only legal, it needs to be non taboo. It needs to just be. They had a. Uh, I was watching the news this morning. They had a poll for Corpus uh, if they think uh, weed should be legalized in the state of Texas, and it said eighty-one percent said yes. Yeah, dude. That's. I mean, that's awesome, but that's crazy, too, because, I mean, you know, fat, rewind about 10, 15 years, and it was probably the other way around. You weren't even allowed to say yes, even if you thought so. Hey, that's because I tell people who come in the smoke shop to buy, like, CBD flour, uh, you know, I tell them, well, we would, you know, and they'll ask something crazy, like, do you have the real thing, though, blah, blah, and I'm like, nah, we live in the state of Texas. Uh, I said, that's illegal. I said, that's illegal, and I said, and honestly, it probably would have been legal a long time ago if, uh, you know, people like you who are now hurting and feeling in pain and are looking for that um, had just said yes years back when we told you what it does, we'd be a lot farther now. I'd be able to sell you what you're asking me, you know what I'm saying? Like, but, advocates. Yeah, you yeah. A lot more advocates now. Nah, I told them it's cool. I mean, I, I don't hold it against you, but just know we've been saying this, you know? Crazy. Well, that's what we tell most of my most of my adults in my life now. All, all, you know, you know what I'm talking about, right? All the yeah. All the deals and deals, you know what I mean? And yeah. Look at the sideways at Thanksgiving. Yep. I'd be like, shh, shh, shh. Anyway, good job. Mm-hmm. <laughs> all right. Yeah, I'm looking at fashion, y'all been need that weed. Mm hmm. I, I would I would come in reeking, getting my plate, and then, you know, uncles and aunts cracking jokes and shit. And, then on the low, they kind of like asking more about it. I'm like, uh huh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I ain't gonna make you. I ain't gonna say. Just come on, come on. That's yeah. all. Come on, get it. Yeah. I've been waiting. Yeah, that's crazy. I, on uh, even as a kid, I remember one of my uncles having some rolled up, uh, some fucking joints rolled up in his ashtray in his truck. And like for a second, he had the ashtray open and then he just closed that hole. But I always remember them rolled up cigarettes, and I just never. As a kid, thought any more than, you know, smoking a cigarette. But over time, I started recognizing that smell. And I'm like, I was right in the midst of that shit and didn't even know it. Like, you know. But that's just one of those things you start realizing as you're older. Like, damn, I was around that shit. Like, I was around some crazy shit. What? Yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My dad was you start getting that bu- butterfly effect shit. Yeah, no, my, my dad was wild and like, with the code and all that. 
Yeah. Yeah. The oh, difference? You know I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This all the difference. <clears throat> like, just kind of low key clown her when it was just hard. Like, just even be, say, jazz conservative. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, like, no, I got you. Because like, like, my stepdad's family is all like, you know how there's two kinds of Mexicans, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. two kinds of Mexicans. Like, well, my stepdad's family is like the real nice, respectable, like, got their shit together, traditional, like, yeah. Mexicans. Like, really great people. Like, really, like, I, I did not deserve to be in that family. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, they, like they look out for you and shit too, though. Oh, hell yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. I don't know where I'd be without them. Yeah. And then, like, my mom and my dad, like, they, they cut from the same class, so, like, my mom and dad's side, like, they both, they both of them be the other kind of Mexican. Yeah. And, and that's what, you know what I mean? So, then, so me and my mom, and my mom, me, you know what I mean? And then my sisters come from my stepdad, so I'm the only one who's been for the whole thing, and I, I, I think my mom would be like, they dance <laughs> Yeah, yeah, man. I be telling my sisters, like, you don't know, mom, like, you don't know, mom, you don't know, mom, like, I know, mom. <laughs> right? It's all on the other side. Yeah. yeah, that's what I said earlier, like, you know, like, uh, with my moms, when I was sitting down, we were listening to whatever local music, like, I'd be talking to myself, you know, because, you know, she raised me, so, you know, everything I know, and like I said, I fucking couldn't count the number of things that she was right on, <laughs> that, uh, that I had to find out for myself um, is just a lot of shit that from her that I carry on and try to give to my daughters and shit. You know what I mean? Like just the right ways. But in my in my time, I also know the wrong way. Like I had to go through the wrong way to find that right way. You know, even though I was told the right way was the right way from the jump, I was like, nah, you don't know what you're talking about. You know. Yeah. And I think. Uh, oh, yeah, I think we all, in a way, do that shit, I guess, you know, because I see, you know, the younger kids doing the same shit, but I just, like earlier I was saying, I feel like they go more, they go further with it, you know? I mean, of course, there's people dying back there when we were kids, too, but it wasn't as wild as now. Growing, growing up, man, I used to think that the only justification for any of that dumb shit was being poor, because growing up, that was my justification, and that and that's what I would like literally just be like. I swear, like if we ain't poor, like I ain't, I swear I won't do no more dumb shit. Like yeah. my conversations with God and shit. So then when I would see people not poor, still like, doing that dumb shit. Yeah, it would anger me. And then as I got older, I realized that there are deeper things beyond economical problems that lead to those things. And seeing them and having real kids and not real kids, like oh, that's fucked up. Uh, birth kids, blood kids, and step kids. I'm, I'm not trying to lose it. Like step kids aren't real kids, and stuff, but having given birth, having been a step parent, having been a step child, having been, you know what I mean? Like uh, my dad's a great real child. Like on both sides of different fences. Like I, you know, I'm trying to empathize more with this with this stupid ass youth. You yeah. Know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But mine was just like. It's just how easy it is to slip away. Yeah. I know, like, I try to implement it and try to do my thing, but it's almost like an app. I'm like, oh, shit. Like, I, you know what I mean? Like, I forgot. Like, yeah. I got to make sure my kid's not eating. Yeah. Um, we did it. Like, our parents were on that shit because they were not busy being rappers, you know, and fucking 
Yeah, yeah that that trips, that trips me out too. That 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 trips me out a lot. Like I I see a lot of my aunts, uncles, parents, whatever, um, didn't really have anything. I guess uh, in that sense, creative wise, like my uncles were movers or mechanics. Like my uncle owns a moving business, my other uncle owns a mechanic business. You know what I'm saying? And I, my other uncle owns a restaurant. It wasn't nothing like uh, trying to be a fucking, you know, a, a singer or anything musically. Like nothing musically in my family has, has been there. You know, I see other people and I think you, I think I've talked to you before and you had somebody in your family that played some kind of music or something like that, right? But I mean, I mean, like you growing up, yeah. In my family that played? Like musically. No? Okay, it might have been somebody else. I might have mistaken, but. No. But I, I'm just saying, I've never had that background. You know what I mean? Like, nobody in my family did anything music wise other than push play. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like. Yeah, yeah, that I did have a long you know, record collection. My yeah. dad, too. Like, yeah, yeah. music, but yeah, not played. Yeah. So, I yeah. think. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I mean, shit, like, I, I just say that because I feel like I'd, I'd be further along in whatever it is the fuck I'm doing music-wise if there was somebody before me who had that same dream, you know? Maybe. They would know, like, they would know what you're I'm barely thinking. finding out now, you know what I mean? Like, as far as the ins and outs type shit, they would know yeah. where to tell you not to go. You know, and that that would still fall on the line if you listen or not, though. But you know, well, maybe them just doing it before you might have just swayed you not to do it, or do it better, or shit. I mean, even if like, like okay, when I was uh, fuck, when I was first I'm starting out, opposite. See, you're right. I'm just on opposite. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. I, I I was just saying like when I was first starting rapping, like, um. I don't think there was very many around me like they were doing any shit like that and this is like middle school and that, that's because like everybody was listening to rap music they just weren't using their own words you know what i mean and and i'd already had my own words because before rap into a thing i was just writing rhymes poems you know like like even even books i was checking out in school back then i guarantee you they were either a rhyme book or, or poetry or fucking uh, how to draw some kind of whatever book. That was it. Like, I wasn't there reading anything but other than these fools telling me how to do this shit. You know, like, those are good old days. And the musical aspect, you just figure out on your own. Yeah, well, see, that's just it. Like, I, I don't, you know, I chill with all these fucking beat makers, you know what I mean? And I could not tell you how to do none of that shit they do. You know what I'm saying? Like, I could hear it in my head, but as far as. The whole actual execution part, that's them, you know, like, yep. it's weird. Like, I just never picked up playing the actual instrument kind of area. But, like, Rich, like, Rich a fucking, Rich is a beast, bro. Like, real shit. Like, you throw him on an instrument, and if he don't know it, he'll figure that shit out, you know? Yeah. And, you know, that's fucking dope. Like, just him on the keys, I'll just be like, just play, bro, and record that shit. And he's just trying to find a melody, right? But while he's doing that, he's creating this fucking, like, fucking 10-hour fucking just all kinds of shit in there. And it's all awesome, you know? And, and he'll just delete. <laughs> just, you know, whatever the fuck it was, you know, because it's just another night. Do it again. Exactly, yeah, it's just another night. It. That's and, crazy, right? Yeah, it's fucking insane. Fucking insane. Like, when we went... We went, fuck, we went somewhere. Oh, Guitar Center, and they had drums, I think. And he can fucking get down the drums. I was like, bro, go get on the fucking yeah. drums. Like, you know, go. He's like, nah, nah. And I'm like, for real, like, get down, bro. Like, there's people here, like, and, you well know. Well-known, track number one, sleeping on the South Hall, well-known, that's him on the drums. With Johnny D? Hooked on paper. Rich on drums. Yeah, Rich can get down on drums. That one I have seen him play. Drums. And, and the electrical drum set to Big Zach. You know the, the one that... Yeah. That sh sh wait. That's him, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit. He needs a... Uh, is his uh, name on the, on the producer credits? 
Yep. You know you gotta give them producers credit. Just like your name in the shining light, you got everybody else on there too. I think I think so. I'm gonna have to go check. I'm gonna have to go check now. Now that now that we now that we on this conversation. It it would be it would be on the internal of it of like <laughs> on the uh, fucking on the distribution when I was filling everything out, which yeah, like Rich Della Rosa believe um Man, stop playing. You freestyling well, now. No, it, you it, freestyling. It, 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 it. <laughs> I swear to God. All Ryan right. Rodella, I can tell you all my projects. Ryan Rodella, Jason Marino. But they're on there? Like on, like when you do drop the project still, they're on there? Yeah. Like in BMI and, um, and uh, Distro Kid and what's the plug? I'm missing the one that I'm proud of. CD Baby. Got oh, yeah, yeah. CD Baby. Uh, they're, they're on there. They're listed. But now on the artwork, they're not, they're not on there. No, nah, I don't think it was a single. Like for, Duke by, for Duke by 361 Kings. Oh, okay. But you gotta remember, when you load it up, there, it, there's like certain cells, and then if you try to put produced by, and they're like, no, you can't put that there, like, save that for over here. So it's like, it's there, but it's not like, it's not an option it's not yet. part of the text. Yeah. You have to put featured by. Oh. So no, it doesn't, I don't think it's a but they know I always shout at them. I always shout at them. I tag them. Uh, it, there were a lot of things did say. Whatever was allowed to say produced by 361 Kings at that time, it was SoundCloud, YouTube sometimes, definitely your own posts. That was always done. But like if you go to, like in other words, Apple Music, again, no, I'm not going to say produced by 361 Kings. Tragedies. Tragedies. Right. Tragedies. Right. That was. <laughs> uh, they were paid on the front end for like eighty percent of those because the other twenty twenty five percent was a gift for gifts from Philippe, you know, or Rich. Yeah. And then uh See they got man, we got we got a. Uh, I've been trying to fucking plug them in with whoever. Not whoever, but with people for years, you know what I mean? Like, um I've actually got like shit here that uh, we never fully put out, like let me see. It was like a beat tape. They were they were my go to guys. Like they were my they were my sound. They were my Look at this shit. They were, you know, like complimentary sound. This shit is like sick. <laughs> this bitch has been sitting in my shit for like two years maybe. I bet you that thing is fucking loaded with it. I bet there I would steal every one of those beats on there. It says Sample Kings Volume One Instrumental CD. Yeah. And it's basically like 30, 40 snippets. I drop a whole EP on there. Man, it's crazy. But yeah, uh, we just never put it out. I got like 50 of these others. Yeah. And all that was like, all that's in house. Producers, I would have to say. All that is in house uh, producing. Uh, fucking. As far as that CD itself, like I went and got one of those printers to print on the CDs and shit. Yep. Try to cut out the middleman. That's why I say everything is here, bro. Fucking. So hopefully after all this 2020, we got everybody's like on the same wavelength. You know what I mean? And and we can do something good. I mean, I like this this idea of the video shit. You know, I feel like we were we were on the verge of this years back. But, you know, everybody's kind of added to it and just opens up more ideas and, you know, so it's kind of cool. Is different too, like. Yeah, it's cool to come back around and, and add the future with it, you know? Yeah. I would love to do this shit in person every time, have a backdrop or at least a table, cool table, you know, like on the Joe Rogan shit, but yeah. COVID and then just like, just like expectations of just like, because that's not our primary thing, we're not going to do that. Yeah. So we over, it'd be paralysis by analysis. Mm. And like, now we're going to do one episode. It's going to feel like a whole bunch of work. And we're going to be like, no. Nah. Yeah. Like, See, that uh, that is where having a team comes in handy, right? Uh, so if all your job, what your job is to just be the host, is that, then that ain't oh, shit. You know what I mean? That's all I do. I literally show up, yeah, exactly, that ain't shit. You literally show up and talk, and that's it, deuce. But he's like, he's like, dude, our guest called you. Can you find a guest? <laughs> I got a guest. 
It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. Yep. Nah, exactly. So imagine that shit on the Third Coast Sundays for three years. And then another fucking year, I think, and a half maybe on the caves. It's been a lot of uh, a lot of behind the scenes shit that, you know, nobody sees because all they see is right there when you throw it in the face. You know, they don't see the put together shit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Shit, those nights drove me crazy, like, to where I was like, man, fuck this shit. I want to do this shit again, and then... If, you got two choices, live or editing. Yeah, yeah, well, back then, on the Third Coast Sundays, it was just uh, live, you know? It was a phone call as we were on there, you know? So, if we weren't doing anything, it wasn't nothing being done, you know? It was no later. We weren't recording just audio or nothing. We were just shooting it straight to the internet. But well, with live comes... Yeah. Yeah, so everything's different now. Yeah, definitely. When the whole live thing came in, um, I was like, damn, like, that could have really helped the Third Coast Sundays last longer because it would have gone through that transition. You know what I mean? And, and uh, then without live, well, radio shows got to be live no matter what. It is whack, but it's not a live radio show. So, like, well, I mean, you can always replay. Yeah. We, we, we got a lot of replays back then. Like, real shit, a lot of people would miss the Sundays. And play it Monday morning. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, so, you know, and that was cool. Um, we could tell on our live viewers and then, you know, for the repeat plays, you could even see people download the fucking uh, episodes and shit like that. Oh, yeah. 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 But now, shit, bro, there's, of the fucking two to three years on that show, every episode is fucking gone. They no longer exist in the world. So that's why I was I, I forgot to get back to that point earlier with the dude that Nico knew who had seven days a week, seven shows, whatever. Our show, our day was Sunday, right? Mind you, this dude pays for this channel. And he wanted to keep the Sunday for religious reasons. And we had already started running Third Coast Sundays. It was already a thing, a logo, everything, you know? And I was like, nah, bro, we already yeah, we already did all this. We got a Facebook page. Yeah, real shit. In the end, in the end, that's pretty much what happened, bro. And and I didn't mean it like that. And uh, he let us have the fucking Sundays. You know what I mean? He was cool about it and shit. Uh, Saturday, yeah. Don't sound the same. Yeah. And they ended up. He had a show for every night of the week. Different people from throughout the nation. We didn't even know. Some nights they'd be like, "You can call in, or we'll call your show." And, like, a hip-hop dude in Detroit would call in our show and just be like, you know, what's up, whatever, this is so-and-so from uh, Wednesday night, da-da-da, tune in to my show, too, and shout-out to Freak Man and Third Coast Sunday, whatever. It was a big family thing. It was cool. Seven days a week and all different kinds of shit. So, um, I think somebody on Tuesdays bounced, and we ended up, like, doing a, a Texas Tuesdays. Third Coast Sundays pre presents Texas Tuesdays, where we would just play oh, Texas yeah. music. Just Texas music. Uh, no outside fucking New York, whatever, Louisiana, nothing. Um, so it was basically like the screw hour or two or something, you know what I mean? And which was cool. Uh, it worked for a little bit. Five screw songs, five screw songs. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right. Um, but when we stopped doing it, uh, that program that we used, we had to upload music. So he only paid for so much space on the website at that time. So we were, had so much music coming in for Sunday alone. I was in there deleting other days' music from shows that aren't mine. I was deleting their songs to make room for Third Coast Sunday music. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, God, yeah, yeah. So I think in the end, uh, he kind of reversed that on me and started deleting the episodes, like completely, uh, completely. That makes sense. Yeah. So every episode I see now in a memory, the link. I click it and it goes to that website and it says, I'm sorry, we could not find this item. You recorded over his novellas. Yeah, he recorded right over mine. Yeah. And then he recorded over your shit. It is whatever. Yeah, you remember that but shit? It, you remember that shit on VHS? I used to record over my parents' shit all the time, music oh, videos. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Nah, I was man. Like, what is this? Yeah, no, we're recording Commando. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
No, nah, fucking, uh, but that shit sucks, though, because it's like, I think I only downloaded the first episode, and that episode was definitely technical difficulties. Uh, I think, like, the first sound you actually hear is a fucking donkey, like, going hee-haw, hee-haw, because I was trying out sound effects on the website, and and then you hear uh, Bo and Nico come on and shit. But, okay, so. Okay, yeah. So. Yeah, it was pretty fun. Fucking, uh, Yeah, a lot of crazy. internet radio and like legit stations they got you know what I mean like rotation rotation yeah mm-hmm. I saw that and then what's his name uh, I think JV had commented on the post to send him your music to play in the club yeah JV the Willis JV uh slow mo nah right. JV uh no yeah yeah JV yeah 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 yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, Oh yeah, Slow Mo always shows love. Yeah. Who's DJ J? The young DJ kid? Is, da- is Dax's is is Dax's boy. He's a kid, right? He's yeah. younger? He's younger. Yeah, yeah, I know he's what you're always, talking he's about. He's always a CCPOA, boxing gym and whatnot. Yeah. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Um, um But yeah, Slow Mo's always showing love. Shit. Slow Mo a Slow Mo fucking asked for that uh remix we made to that Marissa Cooper take him downtown, the high speed chase. Yeah, that shit was funny. We made a little fucking video and beat. Like, JJ actually chopped the shit up and, you know, made a fucking track out of that hoe. And uh, Slow Mo was playing that bitch in the club in San Antonio. <laughs> Slow Mo was all like, I don't know if it was the same club, but when, when I asked him to play the hit club, he was like, yeah, it was a gay club, right? I was like, fuck it. Like, like it. Spin that shit. Hey, that, that might be the like, way. That might be the way. Like, <laughs> like, that's you know, at the BMI publishing, publishing man, gotta get the publishing right. Yeah, and plus, yeah, I, one, I wouldn't want to segregate or separate anybody who feels the same way you do, no matter no, what no. their, no matter what their background is. No, I don't. I'm a grapple, bro. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Well, shit, yeah. there you go. Yeah. You you sitting in the fucking gold pot and don't even know it. Yeah. You should be like, hey, play. You should fucking have, like, some singles that you direct towards them on a CD and go hand them hoes out. You know who else works for Apple? You know who JD, JD is? What's JD? JD Lerma. He was, like, a Kumi King dancer. And then, like, he was a, he was like a radio DJ. I think so. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Small world. Um, small world, yeah. Small world. Houston, Houston branch, but yeah. Small state. Yeah, it's, uh, dude, it's dope, because I see, like, it's everything. If you're a musician, you trans, like, transition into the tech world and into, like, yeah, like, the cultural world of, like, different. You can capitalize. Tech markets, you can capitalize. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. And, yeah. and, and that market is definitely. See, you it's see? like a Miami song, and there's a lot of like them in like the Miami area. Yeah. So when we when we break it down, who is really sleeping on the South Pole? Come on, time ago, my friend. I'm no, but who me. is still <laughs> sleeping on the South Pole if you haven't utilized that pot that you got? That sixty percent. Oh shit! I'm Stop it! I'm, I'm fucking. I'm, <laughs> No oh, shit. And, uh, That's yeah, nice. I was, I was air dropping everybody and, and, and um, they're super receptive. Hell yeah. That's tight. Hell yeah. I mean, shit, I'll be doing the same thing, bro. Yeah, they're, they're, they're super receptive and they're, they're just like um, appreciative of good, of good music. Like, they're yeah. not, they're not, you're not trying people. to test your nuts and see if you're about that life and shit, you know? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. They're like, yeah. They're, they're it's like, good music. Yeah, this you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just do it. I was like, it's your phone. No, add that shit. Add that shit. Yeah. Add, let me see. He's all like, let me see your phone. Yeah. All right. You need to start uh, programming the phones with your music already in them. I'm trying. I'm telling you, and, 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 and when there's a way to do it, I'm a note, and I'm like, 
Actually touching. Yeah. Which one? And it breaks it down in what city the most, and what you know. In, in every way you think it breaks it down, it breaks it down. You know, if, if anyone should damn it, you know, I guess your damn's in like Tokyo. That means like someone's listening, someone's like, who is that? Fucking damn that shit. Like, see who that is. That one, like, I got your damn's and shit. So, so that. So pause right there. That's funny, right? Like, okay, for the green wall thing behind me. That would be like just a little fucking 10, 15 second, 20 second commercial or whatever, you know, and it happens to be you and it happens to be true. You know what I'm saying? That's tight. Yep. And only some people would be like, you know, okay, kind of get it, you know, but it would just be art out there, you know? <laughs> All right. I'll keep that in mind. I need a Chinese guy. Yeah. My my Chinese, nah, see, Tokyo be the green screen. The, my Chinese guy just moved to uh, Austin or Dallas, as a matter of fact. Yeah, they out there in Tokyo drifting the black on black. Let me find out. <laughs> That's the furious in there. Nah, that boy's a, he's a gunsmith. That boy deals with guns. But, yeah, that would be pretty dope. Just little, little things like that is what I'm constantly cooking up top, you know? Something that I think is fucking interesting or whatever. Like, uh, with all the block meters footage that I got, like, I started working. This is some years back, but I started working on, like, a, like a show, I guess, where somebody's changing the channels, and each channel is just a clip from the footage that I have. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, like... It'll be, like, for instance, one clip I do have is a, a freestyle of skits that nobody's heard, and it's from Beville, and it just, you click the channel, it goes, and then it shows him spitting. He spits his whole thing, and I change the channel, and then it goes into whatever. It might even be, like, my daughter's third birthday or something like that, and then it'll flip, and it's, just, and it's all just my footage, but I only got, like, 30 minutes into that bitch, and I was like, man, this is a lot of fucking work, like, you know. That's a lot of freestyle. Who's that, Skits? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, a lot of freestyle. I'm, I'm going to let you in on uh, a little something I'm working out. Um, I'm going to do a Skits versus a Big Mott on a freestyle edition. And I don't know if it's going to be on The Clash or I don't know if it's going to be behind me. But either way, it's going to be Skits versus Big Mott, straight freestyles. So, Shit. yeah. So that was going to be pretty weird. It. Yeah, 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 definitely. Well, I was talking to when DC came through the K, uh, through the clash for for Bolio, uh, Mott was there, and I was we were chopping it up afterwards, and they were talking about the Black Leader Cipher from you know downtown and shit, and, and Mott was there. But nah, you good? Nah, uh, Mott was there at that uh, Black Leader Cipher and shit, and he remembered skits. And I was like, shit, I'd put skits up against, shit, anybody in freestyle. I said, I think he'd hold his own. And uh, I was like, well, what's up, Mott? Or Mott said something, right? And I was like, shit, well, let's, let's make it happen. So I called both of them, talked to both of them, and they both with it. So it's going to be all freestyles. So that's, like, that's my shit right there. No, nah, definitely not, but both of them do. Both of them definitely do. Yeah, Big Mom's cold. Yeah, nah, he is. He's cold as fuck, though. It ain't, ain't been nothing he dropped that I ain't like. Right. Me neither. Or I'm like, man, he really put his best foot forward on that one. Like, you can tell. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, so that, hopefully, uh, I'm thinking it's been about, it's been a few days since I talked to both of them, so I'm thinking uh, maybe before the end of this year. Depending on how we're going to do it with the Clash. I mean, I don't know. Boston just threw that thing out. I don't know if that we're going to try to go with that one next. That would be pretty dope, too. But 
I think a clashing of all kinds of things would be awesome, and we were, were capable of doing it, too. Yeah. If we wanted to fucking do some uh, beats in there, we're capable. If we wanted to do some fucking, uh, just fucking straight up, uh, Spoken word type shit, shit. We're in there, you know what I mean. Oh, like, shit. we could do some R and B shit. Like, I've already reached out to to Gabe, but Gabe's a hard man to fucking pin down. You know what I'm saying? So. You do a fucking trap kitchen versus another restaurant, like a cook off. Oh shit. Yep. Yep. Mhm. Mm All kinds of shit. We were talking about female versus female. Um. There wasn't too many names that popped up, but I mean. Maybe it'll motivate them, you know? But you know. Yo. Look, I try to cuff the mic to, to a corner so it crack them off and then I fucking hold up. It's that, it's that iPhone. <laughs> I, know. Fucking, I don't be fucking with them AirPods. I troubleshoot them shits every day and I'm like, I ain't buying them. Yeah, I was gonna say, I, I would figure you'd have all the newest, latest, greatest. Straight plug in, yeah. It's another thing to charge, man. Analog. That's true. Nah, they're cool, but I'm, I'm a tight wire, man. Yeah, you ain't trying to spend all that apple bread. Yeah, I don't have Just a MacBook I'm yet. I, I I don't like the MacBooks. Um, I don't know. It's just weird to me. MacBooks are live. Yeah. Uh, everything else I've gotten the handle of and gotten the hang of, but some about the fucking the Apple computer is just different. I guess it's in a good way, but I'm just stuck in my ways. Yeah. You can't even act like it's not. It took a while, but now that I'm adjusted I'm on this Apple side. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was an adjustment period though. I was like, what the fuck is it? Why the long did you call it settings? What the fuck is system preferences? Yeah, it's see. Settings everywhere else. See, that's why I'm uh, glad that's why I'm glad you work where you work, because this shit like that 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 keeps me from going to that side all the way. <laughs> For real. But now, now, now I fix them so like. Now you know the answers. The language, so it ain't okay. Yeah, now you got the answers. Well, goddamn, Daniel. Um, shit. Well, I'm gonna fuck with you, but for yeah. sure I'm gonna hit you up for something. Whatever the fuck it might be, it might just be this all over again. You never know. Cool. And then what? Tomorrow the thing is dropping or what? Yeah, we're going to edit it right now. Put the finish, you know what I mean? It's, dude, have you ever seen it play out on Zoom? No. Dude, Zoom is beautiful. Zoom, whoever's talking, that it, it camera switches on its own. So we're not. Oh, yeah. It. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like editing, like I said. It, so if it's not live, it has to be edited. And then, but with Zoom, that's half the battle done for you. Well, that's what that's what I had going on the uh, the Gucci and Jeezy thing. Like I had uh, Jacoby had a Zoom meeting going on, so I had that in the corner of the screen, and then I had me in another corner, and then I had the Gucci and Jeezy on the whole half side of the screen. So yeah, I get what you're saying, and it does keep the fucking simplified editing and shit. Yeah, I thought that was cool. Yeah. No, we started. We started the beginning of a uh, Corona shit. Yeah, that became a job, like for real. I've been doing Facetime for sure. Yeah. But I had never had no reason to. Um, and I've been I've been doing Zoom like on the Mac for work, but I had no reason to record it, use it, record it, mm. put it out. You know what I mean? How that was gonna go? So I'm like, oh shit, this prepping for podcasting. Yeah. Like, Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's fucking perfect. Like, 
He's all just call me just call me when you're ready. <laughs> Yeah, you didn't even send me the link. He sent me the link. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> that's horrible. That's horrible. But yeah, I that's that's the goal, I guess. Yeah, to do less and make more. Yeah, no. Yeah. You know, you know, because rapping, I'm coming hundred ten percent. I will be there on time, not rapping time, sitting everywhere. That's that's my role. Oh yeah, you know? definitely. Yeah. Just let me know how I can help. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I mean that very lightly, very lightly. Yeah, yeah I mean very lightly, but yeah, that I mean. <laughs> no, no, fuck with me, though, bro. Like, All right. You know I got you, All right, I'll meet you. All right. All right. Well, goddamn, Daniel. <laughs> <laughs>